Hello, this is a, a very quick two-minute update of the first annual Japan Central Europe uh, Investment Awards and Summit set for April 25 in Tokyo. Many of you have asked for an update on the speakers and the agenda and the shortlist of companies as well. By the way, uh, my name is Tom Barnhart. We're the organizer from CE Business Media, and I'm here in Warsaw today. We had a sunny day earlier, and now, as you can see, we have a very uh, huge snowstorm today. Uh, this is the Palace of Culture. Um, so, very quick update. So, we've got a wonderful event scheduled April 25th at the Palace Hotel in Tokyo. Um, we've got a superb list of speakers, um, and I'll put my glasses on so I can read that as well. Um, we've since uh, we've last updated you on this video, we've added a number of wonderful speakers. We have, of course, Mark Matraszek from CEC Government Relations, who is going to be talking about the overall political environment in Central Europe. Um, we have uh, uh, Shira Kawasan from the Credit Suisse Securities in Japan. He's a chief economist, giving an overview of the economic markets in Central Europe, which are also a little bit different from each other. Um, we've added on the confirmation of uh, Makino-san from Jetro, who is also inviting their members to, to the daytime summit. Um, he'll talk and be talking about the Economic Partnership Agreement, EPA. Um, Francesco Fomiccioni, who is the executive director of the European Business Council in Japan. Um, we also have speakers from the EU Japan Center for Industrial Cooperation. Um, additional speakers are from Nishimura and Asahi Law Firm, the largest law firm in Tokyo. Um, from Lowens and Luff, a Dutch-based law firm talking about tax optimization for European M&A deals. Um, Richard Snyder from Czech Invest. Uh, we'll be addressing some of the economic incentives in Central Europe, particularly in the, particularly in the Czech Republic. Um, on the other side will be from the Polish Investment and Trade Agency, Eliza Konowska Sivak. We'll be talking about the economic uh, and investment incentives in Poland, which have also changed a bit in the last few years. Um, other speakers that we've added on since we last spoke, we're planning to do a deeper dive into the technology and IT uh, business cooperation between Japan and Central Europe, which is quite substantial. A lot of Central European companies have expanded into Japan, particularly on the IT technology, software, um, as well as the gaming side. And uh, we have Mark Einstein from ITR in Tokyo. They are a boutique uh, investment advisory in the IT space, will also be joining us. I also want to take a minute and give you an update on the jury. We now have about 16 jury members, and we will be going to 20 in the coming uh, days. We have recently added on from the European Bank, EBRD. Um, they have joined the jury as well. Recently, we have uh, now got um, the newest uh, person from KPMG uh, on the jury, and you can see the full jury members at JapanEuropeInvestmentAwards.com. Um, last comment, I wanted simply to say the fifth, we have got uh, 59 shortlisted Japanese companies uh, who have applications in, in the 10 awards categories. We have closed that now and the jury will be getting the package over the weekend. Um, they will then vote and the uh, announcements will be made at the awards gala April 25th. So that's it. Quick update, hope you'll join us. We're very pleased with the progress we've made. It's been a lot of hard work. Uh, we've had tremendous help from multiple sources, uh, chambers of commerce from across the whole region, from ambassadors across the region. Uh, we've had associations, we've had investment advisory groups, we've had media companies. So uh, I cannot say enough for the help that we've had putting this together. So we do hope you'll join us April 25th if you're focusing on Japan and Central Europe. We think it'll make sense for you to attend. See you 25 April in Tokyo at the Palace Hotel.